Hey everyone, it's Matt. Welcome back to another video on Retroactive Jealousy. Uh, hope everybody's having a good week so far. Um, and those of you that are going through my course, hopefully you're putting everything you've learned to the test um, and you're seeing some great results back. Uh, so today, the uh, topic I want to talk about is cheating on your significant other in order to cure your retroactive jealousy. Um, so that's a major question that, that comes up um, from students in the course, um, among other people uh, that will email me and ask me, saying like, hey, man, I'm suffering from retroactive jealousy, I'm suffering from these anxious thoughts, these very painful thoughts, uh, these painful images in my head, I can't get them out, but I think there's a way to do it. Since my girlfriend or boyfriend had sex with you know, this many people or had sex with this person or did this in the past, maybe if I do that now, we'll be even and I won't have the jealousy anymore. Uh, very, very common question that comes up. And honestly, um, I can speak firsthand uh, for those of you that watched um, my longer video about my whole kind of life story. Um, I did this. This happened to me. I cheated on one of my girlfriends. Um, she had uh, had a past relationship with a coworker of ours. And I could not stand the fact that she had had sex with this guy and was in a relationship with this guy. And so I put it on myself to think, well, if she did this with a coworker, maybe I should do it too. And therefore, uh, anytime a retroactively thought flares up that, oh, my girlfriend did this with a coworker, I can then, you know, counteract that thought and say, yeah, but I did this with one too. So it's fine and everything will be dandy. Well, guess what? That's not how it works. Uh, so I did, I, I did uh, do that. I cheated on my girlfriend um, with another girl that we worked with. And for the first couple days, I thought I had stopped my retroactive jealousy for real. I, I didn't feel it. I, I, I did the exact thing that I described every time that thought would come up of with her with someone else. I thought, well, she did that, but I did this. And there's a big difference between the two of them, at least for me. And it was like, my girlfriend did this before me and her met, had nothing to do. Yet I did this in a retaliation, so to speak, while I was in a relationship with her. And no, wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, so after a couple days, uh, when I thought, hey, my retroactive jealousy is done, I'm not having these anxious thoughts and responses anymore, guess what, it came back. And it came back even worse. Uh, and as much as I tried to fight it, as much as I tried to wrestle those thoughts away, as much as I tried to you know, use that retaliation factor of, well, yeah, she did that, but I did that too wouldn't work, wouldn't work. And I describe this as, as like any problem in life. You can't hide from your problems. You can't, you know, if, especially if it's a major problem, you can't do something on the side hoping that it will push the problem away. If you have a problem or an issue, the only way to get rid of it is to face it head on and go after it. And that's what we talk about uh, in my course, which I'll leave in the description uh, link description below so you can click the link if you want to enroll in the course uh, you can start today if you'd like so yeah to answer that question should you cheat on your significant other in order to get back at them in order for retaliation in order to get rid of your retroactive jealousy the answer is no don't do it it's not going to work it has nothing to do with how many partners they've had it doesn't have anything to do with who they've slept with it doesn't have anything to do with how many you partners you've had or who you've slept with, it does not matter. None of that has anything to do with relieving your retroactive jealousy. None of that has anything to do with overcoming your retroactive jealousy. That's just your mind playing tricks on you because really what's happening is you're looking at this whole jealousy situation, this whole relationship situation, and you're looking at it in fear. So you're responding in fear. And when you respond in fear, you're not thinking straight. And that's exactly what's happening. So if you're in a situation where you believe if you cheat on your significant other, you're gonna overcome this thing, that's absolutely the wrong thing to do. 
It absolutely will not work. There's a whole nother way to do it that does not involve any of this. I talk about it in the course. It's all about figuring out those thoughts versus the anxious responses and really realizing that there's nothing dangerous going on here. It's just thoughts, it's just responses. And again, we'll talk about that more in the course. Um, you can enroll that below. So thanks again uh, for watching another video. Again, don't cheat, keep it up, keep doing your thing, keep doing your practicing. You will overcome your retroactive jealousy, but do not cheat because it does not work. See everybody.